it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, your customer is moving their corporate applications to Google Cloud Platform. The security team wants detailed visibility of all resources in the organization. You use Resource Manager to set yourself up as the org admin. What Cloud Identity and Access Management or Cloud IAM roles would you give to the security team? So the requirement is that a team needs to have visibility into the resource in your organization and we need to set up IAM in a way that is suitable for them. Always remember that we have to follow the principle of least privilege that we give no more and no less access than is required to get the job done. So the first part of the requirement is to have the team be able to view certain details. Right? So the team only needs view access. They also have to see all the resources in the organization. So they need not read only access, but to all org resources. You are the admin, the org admin, which means you have the power to grant any of these roles, right? But always remember to be responsible with how much access or permissions you give somebody and it should not exceed their requirement. Obviously, it should not be less than the requirement also because then they can't get their job done. With that understanding, let's look at the options. Option A suggests that we give them org viewer and project owner. What are these roles? The org viewer is able to access or view the organization itself, which is a good starting point. But the owner role gives permissions to edit certain um, resource features, right? For example, uh, they can manage the roles and permissions of the project. And therefore, that is not something that we want given because this team only needs read access and should not have edit access. So the org viewer is good because they're able to view the organization details, but the project owner gives them edit uh, permissions, which is not allowed. So option A is out. Option B suggests that we give org viewer and project viewer. So from the name itself, we can start to think, yeah, this seems more reasonable, right? What is the organization viewer? We saw this earlier, was to provide access to view the organization. And the primitive role viewer gives read-only actions to whatever that uh, role is given to. I mean, whatever resource that uh, role is applied on. So in this case, they're able to view the resources, but they're not able to modify it, which is what we want. So the combination of org viewer to view the organization details and project viewer to view the resources within the project is suitable for us and therefore seems a good option, which might be the right answer. But we don't know that for sure if there's something better. So we keep this for now and look at further options. Option C suggests that we give org admin and project browser. Now remember that you already are the org admin, right? The person who's able to give these functions. To give that org permissions to others, that kind of org admin permission to others would be just too dangerous, right? You shouldn't be doing that. The project browser role does give you permissions to uh, see the hierarchy of the project, right? the resource hierarchy. So the roles browser gives read access to browser hierarchy for a project, including folder organization cloud IAM policy. However, it doesn't include permission to view resources in the project. So both these options are not good for us. Org admin gives too many permissions. It's too permissive where it allows the person to grant for the permissions. Whereas we want to give only viewer permission and project browser doesn't give enough. Right? You get to view the hierarchy, but the resources within the project itself are not visible. So option C is out. Option D suggests that we give project owner and network admin. Project owner, as we saw earlier, is too permissive, right? Because they get to edit the resources in the project. The network admin role 
really is not useful for us in any way. It does allow them to change some of the network configurations, but for other things, it does not uh, it does not allow them to view all resources. Right. So both the project owner and the network admin are not suitable for us. Right. And of course, the network admin also allows them to edit permissions on the network, which should not be allowed. Right. Apart from the fact that they can't get to view everything within the project. So overall, option D also doesn't work for us, which means we will eliminate that. So the right one to give a right set of permissions to give in this case is option B, which is org viewer and the project viewer. Now it's time to subscribe to all the great content we've got lined up for you to learn Google Cloud and to help you with the certifications.